How you doing everybody? I am Jay Enterprise. This is a trailer reaction video, my reaction to trailer two for No Time to Die, the latest James Bond film. Now, I am particularly excited over the fact that this trailer was just released a couple days ago because as of now, as of this day, this film is currently set to release in November. Now, the fact that MGM was willing to start up the marketing for this film again could very well mean that studios are confident in their fall and winter releases. Um, they may believe that no more delays will occur. So it, it's po quite possibly a very good sign that we're, uh, we're seeing marketing start up again for, for films that are supposed to be released in the fall and the winter. So without further ado, quit with the talking, get with the watching. Let's check out trailer two for No Time to Die. Bond gets very lucky at times. Ugh. The past isn't dead. James, fate draws us back together. Now your enemy is my enemy. His name is Stefan. And what does he want? Revenge. Whenever a secret finds a He's pretty. Act, there'll be the death of you. You can imagine why I've come back to play. There's a young lady in Santiago I want you to meet. You're late. Mm. When you're ready. She is even prettier. Salute. I have a weakness for brunettes. Well, I met your new double O. She's a disarming young woman. I get why you shot him. Yeah, well. Everyone tries at least once. <laughs> James Bond. We will both eradicate people to make the world a better place. I just want to be a little tidier. That was cool. There will be nothing left to save. November. All right. I mean, it was an okay trailer. There were some cool moments, but I think this is going to be standard Bond fare, which nothing wrong with that. I love the James Bond. I I love the Bond films, and I, I really do like the the Daniel Craig saga, if you want to call it that uh, series version, whatever. But um, God, the, the first trailer, one of the last trailer that was released for this film, feels like ages ago. Um. I think they released all the trailers. I mean, this was originally supposed to come out in April. And then because of the whole, you know, the virus, um, like they had pretty much gone through all, all of their marketing and then they pushed it back to November. Um, like I said, this was an okay trailer. I want to see this just because I like the Bond films. I'm not overly hyped, uh, but as I mentioned before, uh, before the, the actual reaction, you know, the big picture is making me excited. Just the fact that a November film is now seeing its marketing ramp up again uh, is potentially a good sign for the movie industry. I actually, speaking of the movie industry, I went to the theaters this weekend, just um, yesterday. I went to the theaters yesterday for the first time since March. 
which was, it was great to go back because I love seeing movies in theaters. I saw Tenet, uh, and um, I hope that we, I hope the, mo the movie industry can get back to normal. Obviously, baby steps. But there's a lot of shit going on in this world. But like I said, I'm excited, really excited to see a film with a fall release date um, starting to be to be marketed again. Which, as I said, hopefully the the studios um, are confident that no more delays will be required. Uh, and also, I'm also, I mean, it's September now. This movie's coming out in November. I wonder if we're going to get one more trailer, if, if they're going to give us one more trailer before the release. Anyway, oh, also, I'm, I'm also very curious um, where Rami Malek, or his, the main villain in this film, where he, like, where he fits in. You know, is he associated with Spectre? You saw Blofeld. Um, like, where like where does he stand? What is his history with Bond? You know, is he involved with Spectre? Is he a completely separate entity? Is he just like a rogue villain that doesn't have any uh, outside ties to some of the larger, you know, the, the over, over, uh, overarching plot of the past couple films? Overarching. That's not what I was looking for. But uh, <laughs> obviously the, the first Daniel Craig... Uh, Bond was Casino Royale and it all kind of like you learned over the course of several films that everything kind of tied together with Spectre um, and his his um, his romance with Vesper Lind in Casino Royale and all kind of like I said it was all kind of tied together um, and I'm curious how this movie uh, and this villain specifically ties in with the the um, the former narrative. If it ties in at all, who knows? Oh, also, this is, you know, a lot of rumors going around that this is going to be Daniel Craig's last Bond. So, are they going to wrap everything up? A lot of questions. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably am looking forward to this movie a little bit more than I, uh, than I thought it was. But anyway, tell me down below in the comments how much you are looking forward to this movie. Do you think uh, theaters will be mostly running back, uh, running up to speed, uh, back to normal by the time this movie comes out in November. Um, are you confident that the November and December releases are going to stay on track? Also, there's a, those October releases too, like Wonder Woman, big films that's supposed to come out in about a month now. Um, I mean, we just saw a new Wonder Woman trailer uh, a couple weeks ago. So it looks like the movie industry is, uh, they are steadfast in keeping their fall and winter releases Fingers crossed. So that's enough of me rambling on. I don't know how long this video is going to be. So, But hopefully, if you are entertained, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing.